We've created our first headless SXA site and want to publish it to Edge as well as deploy our app to a cell. If you missed the first part, feel free to check it out on our Discover Sitecore YouTube channel. So I'm here in the dashboard of my XM Cloud Content Management instance and I'm navigating into the content editor. Um, so I want to change some of the content so I can easily identify that this is the content I have available then later on. Um, so I'm going into the data source and adding some text to the headline within the rich text editor. Yeah, accept and um, saving the content. And now I would like to publish. So. I will publish now the whole site because I haven't published anything at all so far. So I'm going into the publishing dialog. Um, I'm performing a smart publish and you can see that I have the publishing target edge available, which is configured for me already. Part of the provisioning process when creating the environment and deploying the starter template was the creation of the edge tenant as well as the edge connector. So all of that is done automatically for me. All I have to focus is creating content, implementing my business functionalities, and of course, publishing. So publishing is completed. And now the question is, how do I verify that my content along with the changes I made is published to my publishing target? This can be done via the Edge GraphQL IDE. In order to use that, I need to generate an Edge token, which can be achieved with a script that is available in my GitHub repository that was created for me. So let me get this repository to my local file system. I'm using Windows Terminal to clone it. By the way, if you would also like to use the Psycho branded theme in your Windows Terminal, you can check out a video that explains that in the Discover Sidecore channel. Let's see what we got. Beside the solution containing the apps and the Docker Compose files, we can see the new Edge Token PS1 script that we need to run. Therefore, we require the environment ID of the environment that we want to connect to. In order to get the environment ID, we need to connect to our XM Cloud environment by using the login command. As I'm already authenticated, I'm not asked again. In case you are assigned to multiple organizations, you can select the organization you want to use in the organization switcher. My environment is located in the Sitecore Dev Relations organization. Now, let me get a list of projects of the organization. With the project ID, I can list the environments of the project and retrieve the environment ID. Let me copy the environment ID and run the new edge token script. I pass in the environment ID and the Sitecore GraphQL IDE opens automatically. Now going one step back for the moment, in the terminal I got the edge token as an output. I copied that new edge token into the Sitecore GraphQL IDE into the HTTP header section and run the query that was pre-populated for me. This way, I can verify that my content has been published and is available on the edge right now. Now, let me go to Vercel. I created a fresh hobby account in my Vercel and I'm creating a brand new project. As you can see, I linked my GitHub account already with Vercel and I can see a list of projects. The demo XM Cloud projects is the one I created earlier, so I will import this one. It suggests the project name that I could overwrite. I set the framework preset to Next.js and select the path where my Next.js app is located. As you can see, it has already identified that this folder contains the Next.js app, a good confirmation that I'm selecting the right location of my source code folder structure. Now I need to pass the environment variables. The Sitecore API key containing my edge token, I can take this from my terminal. Next, the GraphQL endpoint containing the URL of the endpoint. This will be available in the documentation. 
Last but not least, the JSS app name that contains the name of the site we want to query from Edge. So the name of the SXA site we created earlier. Now let's hit deploy. That will take a couple of minutes. Please note, I'm showing Vercel here as an option that customers can use for hosting their front-end website. They don't have to use Vercel. When we are publishing our content to Edge, that's consumable by any front-end. And you can host your front-end with any front-end hosting provider you want. Awesome! The deployment worked. We can see already a preview of our website. Let's have a look on our live website. There we go. The published content is now live and available for public. You can also see the changes I made earlier. Summarizing, we can say that we got started very quick and easy from the beginning of creating a project and then creating the environment, deploying our sample solution, creating an SXA site from a template, publishing the content and then deploying the app to Vercel. So all in all, we didn't spend much time in achieving a whole process from beginning to having an actual live website, even though it's sample content. I hope the video helped you. Thanks for watching.